Hello, welcome to Tazonomy Online Mathematics. We are still on the trigonometry episode 3. Alright, we are having a question out here. One of the questions that came under WASI, in WASI, under trigonometry. We are having a diagram as you can see. The, the angle Y, X, Z. Y, X, Z. Which is this angle is given to be equals to x k z x k z here so it means here is 90 so this angle also is 90 meaning from a triangle x y z the angle here is our right angle here facing the long side y z all right then the length of y k y k is given as 4 that of xk is given as 6. Our only task is to find the length of kz. The length of kz. I'm pausing. Find out. Can you find the length kz upright? Do you think you can get the answer upright? Good. You can see that if I stand on this, Taking the triangle X, K, Z, I have the length of this. I am looking for this. But I cannot use one alone. Since I'm looking for ratio, it's going to be this over this equals to sine cos tan of a particular angle. I don't know this angle also. So if I know this angle, I can find this using opposite adjacent. Opposite adjacent to it. So it means I need to find out can I easily find this angle? Because that's the only tax I need now. If I know this angle, I can use opposite adjacent to find what I am looking for. So now let's look through. The diagram is not only XKZ, we have another XYK attached to it. So I'll look at it. If I take the triangle, from triangle X, Y, Z. If I take this triangle, you can see that this is an angle, a side 6, 4. If I put an angle here, I can be able to find it because opposite adjacent. Opposite adjacent. So if I take my soccer tour, it's going to be tour. Opposite adjacent. So I have tan. Theta equals to opposite, which is going to be the length of xk over adjacent the length of yk. So 6 over 4, as in 6 centimeter over 4 centimeter, the centimeter will cancel. We'll be having tan theta equals to 2 as a factor, give us 3 over 2. We are looking for tan. So, sorry, theta. Theta equals to tan inverse of 1.5. Tan inverse of 1.5. Therefore, our tan, let's check that on the calculator. That will give us 56.3 degrees. So, it means I know this angle. I know this side, I know this side, I'm looking for this. If we take the complete triangle X, Y, Z or Y, X, Z, this is the angle, so this is our hypotenuse. So we know half of it before, we are looking for this, we don't know. But if I take that full triangle, you can see that this angle plus this angle will add up to this to give you 180. The sums in a triangle add up to what? 180. Meaning the angle here is given to us as 90 plus the angle here we've calculated to be 56.3 plus this angle will give me 180. So let me see how I'll describe this. We can describe this 
angle X, Z, K or Y equals to 180 minus the sum of 90 plus this. So 90 degrees plus 56.3. 180 degrees minus this will give us 146.3. I think yeah, 10 hundred, so 143. Alright, so if we do that, you'll be getting 33.7 degrees. So the angle that you were looking for as gamma. Is now found so we can say that from the triangle X Z K we now know this angle which is opposite to this opposite adjacent so we can say that tan of the angle 33.7 degree equals to opposite which will be the length X K over adjacent which is going to be the length kz that will be 6 over if i want to use here to be y so that let me use y so that i will leave this behind if i have 6 over y equals to this is simply put y is multiplying this then equal to 6 divided by tan 33.7 so y is just going to be 6 over tan 33.7 so if you cross multiply there is 1 dividing this to be 6 6 equals to y tan 33.7 we are dividing by this tan 33.7 so it can still go back to the denominator of what Y. Let's check that on the calculator and see it. And that will give us 8.997. If you can approximate to one decimal place, this will change. Approximate to two decimal place, this will change. Approximate to three decimal place, this will change. So it will only be approximated to 9.0 dimension centimeter so two decimal places one two three all will give us 9.0 or 9.00 so this is what we can see from the previous episode you see that the question is just direct you can find your soca tour and off you go but at times the diagram become combined you have to take it piece by piece take the first one employ the properties that you know about the question employ it in the first one Take the second aspect before you combine, then you are good to go. I believe you followed. If you have a question to ask concerning this, please don't hesitate to do that in the comment section. I'll be glad to look into it and help you. We are here to do it together so that you, you understand. I feel happy. You feel happy. I feel happy. Share with people you think need this. Your colleagues. You have students. You have colleagues. Share with your members of the class members of your school so that they will also benefit from it. The feedback, I will appreciate it so that I can improve on the next episode. Thank you very much. I remain Gapo, Fred Yao.